People often ask how we selected 100 images from 100,000 different possibilities. It wasn't easy, especially with the New South Wales State Archives and Sydney Living Museum's collections to explore. The sheer volume of choice helped us uncover unique, inspiring and even polarising pictures for the public to respond to. And that's what we wanted to capture with a thousand words. The hunt for our exhibition images started with a range of different formats. These included photographs created on glass plates, lantern slides, film and print, which had already been digitised and were ready to sort through. We began by looking for black and white images that spanned from the 1880s to the 1980s. Then we cast the net wide to capture historical moments from a range of locations with a diverse cast of characters. Our images had to have a sense of scale from big to small and from the urban to the natural. Aesthetically, there had to be works of fine art with elements of composition, tone, shape and light. And most importantly, they had to provide an emotional connection for the public to respond to on social media and in our online and physical exhibition space. The public responses raised a range of themes which were really exciting for us, especially when the exhibition opened here at the Museum of Sydney. This image is showing a group of female prisoners undertaking an exercise drill in the prison yard at the State Reformatory for Women at Long Bay. When the image was first posted, the public added a new layer of meaning by relating it to the contemporary pop culture phenomenon of the handmaid's tale. In fact, the one word responses were handmaids, Gilead and punishment. If you're a fan of the series, you'll notice the similarities and it's something we didn't expect to encounter. Another image in the exhibition shows how one photograph can be interpreted in several different ways. We've had a wonderful response to this image. We have a young man posing very deliberately in front of these incredible structural forms that were used in the construction of the Harbour Bridge. This image has had an incredible journey. We first saw it as a photographic print in one of the Sydney Harbour Bridge photographic albums. And now it's here at the Museum of Sydney. Half the public comments focused on the rivets, the materials and the construction, while the other half connected with the man who appears lost in his thoughts. This picture from our online exhibition was remarkable for the difference between the public interpretation and the official story. It shows four ladies dressed up in their Sunday best and conjured up words like elegance, style and fashion. Interestingly, the women were actually undercover police officers involved in the protection of Queen Elizabeth II during her tour of Sydney. Their handbags weren't just stylish fashion accessories, but also concealed a police issue baton ready to use in case of trouble. Some of the images caused us to re-examine our collections with fresh eyes. This photograph of a dog named Manor gazing into a crystal ball was a fan favourite with responses like future, gypsy and mystic. It prompted us to explore our collections to learn more about the image and the photographer behind it. We managed to find several companion pieces that showed how the photographer set up the shot, as well as pictures of Manna frolicking in the backyard with her owners, being treated like a much-loved fur baby. Thanks to the public's interest in this image, we were able to learn more about our collections and unearth items we didn't even know we had. It's the public responses that make A Thousand Words such an exciting exhibition project to be involved in. It gives you the chance to interpret history through the lens of your own background, experience and values. To get involved, visit the exhibition online or at the Museum of Sydney today. You never know what your comment could help us discover next.